Well, welcome again to How Things Work. And what I wanted to talk about today is the very reason you can hear me, sound waves. So what is sound? Well, sound is a compression wave. When I talk, my vocal cords actually bunch the air together. And when that series of bunched higher density air hits your eardrum, it vibrates it, it moves it. And the bones in your ear then connected to the nerves translate that into a sound that you hear, my words right now. So we look at this, what you have here is a denser zone of the air, right? And then in between it's less dense. And then over here again you have a denser spot, right? And these are the waves of the air, the compression waves that travel along. A normal way to represent it is to have an intensity. And so if you see someone drawing a sound wave, like the blue one up here, what you're seeing is the intensity of the bunching, the density, a representation of the density in a sound wave. So this is what's really going on. And the thing about sound is it can be at different pitches. You can have a really low sound. Or you can have a really high sound. The really low sound is because the frequency of these compression waves is larger. So if I have a low sound, it's a low frequency vibration. If I have a high pitch sound, it's a high frequency vibration. So, this is a more accurate representation of what sound waves sound like when you are actually hearing something. The top graph is the amplitude again. But the bottom one is showing you the different frequencies. The higher it is up in the graph, the higher the frequency. And the brighter the color means it's louder. And you can see that the color brightness goes with the amplitude graph up here. This is actually part of the William Tell Overture. Of course, we can attach a bit of math to this. You see, a middle C is 256 hertz. That means 256 times per second you have one of those compression waves hitting your ear. And if you go up an octave, every octave is a doubling of the frequency. So you might say, well, how many octaves are there? You can keep doubling, you got 1,024. 2048, 4096, and so on, and that's right. You can go octave to octave to octave. The human ear, generally, or maybe the best of ears, can go between 20 hertz on the low end and 20,000 hertz on the high end. Something like a dog whistle that humans can't hear, it's because it's such a high frequency, we can't hear it, whereas dogs can because their ear bones and ears are constructed differently than ours. It's interesting that we almost always think of our notes in this scale, sort of the same scale you do do, re, mi, do, re, mi, fa, so, la, ti, do. So eight whole notes with some half notes in between. Well, you know, sometimes when you do that, that is the most pleasing sound and it's sort of the natural sound that when you might, you might have people use but it doesn't actually divide up the frequencies in any exact manner, except that each tone is an approximate step apart. But you're dividing uh, 12 different intervals into something that's actually a factor of two. It works for your ears, even if sometimes a given note has some fractional type of frequency. <laughs> 